What up in the moon things? This is the one I was expecting. And this is a uh, response video to the trailer of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I just wanted to give you my thoughts coming from your NMO host. And a couple things that I'm going to touch on. New additional fighters. Strider, we knew it was a given. Um, I think the demand was high enough. And you know, I guess our voices are heard. So far in the trailer, from the breakdown, he looks. You know, the the, the look is the same, but my concern is the gameplay, because if it's supposed to be ultimate, hopefully they fix the controls and whatnot. But that's highly unlikely, since they're already using the older build of the game. But not much is known, so I may be wrong. This is just early. Um, uh, you know, early feed on it. But uh, my biggest pop when I was watching that trailer was Ghost Rider. Now, it's very convenient. There's so many things for you Muganites out there who've been following our show for the last couple of years. And in the DC vs. Marvel Mugen game, I saw a lot of similarities there. Considering that Ghost Rider has not been, like, really been pushed to the forefront in terms of having his own game and whatnot and in seeing how his movements were with the, the chain and whatnot it's, it's very convenient to see how similar it looked to the Mugen uh, counterpart and especially and those of you who are faithful uh, Mugen uh, followers notice that super I don't even have to say much y'all already know it Capcom not to you guys for taking that from the Mugen community because that super is dead on exactly like you know what what's in the DC versus Marvel project so I, I, I give y'all that and then uh, to the creator of Ghost Rider hey they got their eyes on you so hopefully the exposure uh, sparked that but um, overall I noticed the the HUD uh, in the game look has been refined a bit so Maybe that might add some new elements, new gameplay mechanics, who knows. Now that remains to be seen. But so far, the roster looks like it's expanded exponentially. But let's just hope all those people like Venom, Carnage, a lot of those characters that people were voting for in, in the forums from Capcom Unity, Shoryuken.com, and what have you, hopefully a couple of these guys will make it into the, uh, the fray. But Ghost Rider was the biggest pop for me. Strider, I mean, I'm glad he's back. So Capcom's listening, but let's hope that they uh, do something about this X Factor thing because you know how I feel about that. But Animal Fans, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Make sure you check out our URL. And I will see you on the next full episode of the Animal Mugen Arcade Show with your host Alex Lexus. And uh, an announcement. As you know, now it's going to be a annual practice for the animal company to go to Comic-Con and to other events. So this year I will not be there for obvious reasons, I'm here. But I will be sending Project Justice, Anomaly, Shinwar, On Your Knees, and my cousin Garvin, Gokin86. So I'll be, you know, stay tuned for those episodes and whatnot, so Comic-Con 2011. I'm sending the NMO staff to the Jacob Javits Center in New York. So make sure you check out uh, NYC Comic Con. Uh, go to their webpage. And the goal is if they have Tekken X Street Fighter there, the NMO staff is to be tasked to get uh, as much footage and as much info as possible for our, our audience. So um, with that being said, I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You check us out on Facebook and our website. I know the website hasn't been updated as of late, but I've been busy out here on duty. But um, without further ado, I will see you next time.